stealth camping adventure is uh, taking us all the way up to Muskoka and there is a spot where a lot of people will portage or at least launch their kayaks or canoes and then they leave their cars there for days and then they go on adventures all around McRae Lake and uh, onto uh, Georgian Bay and but I've discovered that there's a trail through there and a waterfall and I want to take you guys I've never been so I'm excited to go and uh, but it's a rainy it's a rainy couple days so we're gonna head up to Muskoka and like I said in one of the other videos I was very interested in in uh, making the the Texas hot dog that I had at Bucky's while I was in Texas so I have everything I need except two items one of them is the uh, Frito-Lays I believe corn chips and the other is like a Monterey Jack shredded cheese those are the only two items I believe I'm missing I've got the hot dogs I got the buns got the onions oh yeah and the chili I need the chili uh, so I'm gonna buy some like stag chili or something so we're going through Alcona and uh, we're hitting up this no frills. Let's go in there and grab some food and then we'll be on our way. Let's go. Vegetable Silverado Classic. Chili beans, Southwest style. That's chicken, and we got dynamite hot. It's got a pull tab on it too. Cool. All right, so they had everything I needed, except the Frito Lays. They only had them in huge bags. I don't want a huge bag of Frito Lay. So we'll hit a convenience store on the way up. There's a convenience store in a little town. Um, called Port Severn. So let's head up the highway to Port Severn and uh, be on our merry way. grab a coffee for the travels. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, I'd like to get a large black coffee, please. Anything else? That's it, thank you. Thank you, you too. All right, people. Now we can travel properly with the right fuel. I've got to plug our phone back in. I've got my Waze going. If you want to get around traffic, Waze is the ways to go. All set up. Ready to go. We have made it to Port Severn. And uh, we'll just hit up that uh, convenience store, see if they got the Frito Lays. If they don't, we're doomed. I think we have one more chance to get them after this. And then after that, it's going to be no corn chips. They got to have them. Frito Lays, let's go. Hat on, mask on, let's do this. Man, 
that's like one of the number one ingredients for that hot dog. So I'm gonna uh, investigate a little further. I think there's one more store just north of here. Let's give it a shot. I'm just on the other side of Port Severn. Uh, it's kind of divided right now because the bridge is being done. But uh, there's a gas station here. There's two gas stations here. So let's try the Esso. And if Esso doesn't have it, oh, they've got, they've, there's a, a bunch of stores right here. Yeah, they gotta have it, man. They have got to have it. Finally, geez, hard things to find. We got all of our supplies. Time to go for a hike in the rain. like a few other people here oh that's the trailhead definitely over there right there bear country look out so there we are uh, we are north of Wabashin here is Barry so we went up the 400 and uh, we are right here the Six Mile Lake Provincial Park is just down here, as you can see right there. And then we're just up by Crooked Bay. And then there's, you have to get off the highway, come around, and then it's almost like you're going back onto the on, uh, on ramp, but there's a real road off that. And we are going to be hiking all the way up this way to here. And that's where the falls are. Gonna have to just do a little organizing, get some stuff up on the bed until I change. Uh, like I said, I have um, rainproof pants. I've got my rainproof jacket on. I sprayed these this morning and uh, hopefully that will keep water out. Uh, they're pretty good boots, Columbia. Been using them for a while. They're more of a winter boot than a hiking summer boot, but uh, it's still kind of cold out. And uh, let's just get going. So I've got uh, a long sleeve shirt on. That's probably all I need. It's not like freezing cold out, uh, but I definitely want to put on uh, rainproof pants. And there's all my cooking stuff. Here's all my other stuff. And these are the pants. Got some trail mix. Got my water. I'll drink some of the water before we go. There's a few people here, but nobody, there's a camping, uh, a trailer there. And chances are where I am, it's like a great spot to, to set up for the night. All right, I'll shuffle this all about again, and uh, then we'll head out. It's good to have everything module. I'll probably have to cook in here as well, um, unless it light, lightens up on the rain. Might be able to do it with the hatchback open. But like I said, let's get our uh, our hike done, go check out the falls, and uh, then we'll come back and have some dinner. All right, let's go check the falls.
I thought that was the trailhead back there, but it seems to be over here. Unfortunately, a few people have left a little bit of a mess. That's not cool. Waterfall, 1.1 kilometer. Let's go. people camping. There's a nice pond down there. Woodpecker's been here. Had some munchies in there. As you can see, I am very hot. It stopped raining and it just seemed like everything heated up. Plus there's a lot of hills here. So I'm just sweating like crazy. Uh, I'll probably take this jacket off as soon as I get down here. Uh, I did go out of the way by like a kilometer, but thanks to all trails, I'm like, it just seems like it's taking too long to get to the falls. And so I looked at the map and I realized I was on the McRae Lake Trail instead of the McRae Lake falls trail and when you come to the intersection uh it's it's marked clearly to go on the the trail but not to the waterfall you have to actually make sure you have the app open and as you're going the wrong way it'll show you that you're going the wrong way and then you got to turn there's no markings so if you ever come here i hope i wish you the best if you have the app you'll you'll make it no problem but again you're following the trail and the signs and then all of a sudden there's just no signs to tell you to turn right. Anyway, so this is the bridge. Whenever you get lost, it's always an extra adventure. On top of your adventure. Check this place out. So this is the snowmobile trail. Authorized snowmobile trail, no ATVs. I guess they don't want anybody going off that cliff. Oh, beautiful. Made it down to the waterfall level and uh, just looked down over there and I saw a crayfish, like a little mini lobster. So we're gonna put him back in the water. Let him, oh, there's another one over here. Two of them. So let's put this guy right here, see what he does. Will he go for the water? Come on, buddy. Go on. 
Go for the water. Go for the water. Yeah, buddy. There you go. I'm back at the intersection that I was telling you about, and as you can see, there's red arrows pointing, and that goes back to the car. And there's red arrows. And then this is the way to the waterfall. But again, it's not marked at all. So anybody coming this way, you'll come to this opening, uh, very large, I'm just gonna move over here, a very large stone covered opening. And uh, again, you have to go to the right. Uh, but if you wanna go on McRae Trail, that's the way to go to McRae Lake Trail. All right, back to the car. I'm hungry, follow the red signs. I made it back to the car. This is a little bit of a drier trail than the one over there. It's like a little bit of a river happening. I hope the audio is okay. Uh, when I put my camera underwater, sometimes the audio will be messed up for a little bit. But uh, I almost slid down this muddy path. All the paths are mucky. Once again, guys, that was McCray Lake Waterfall Trail. All right, dinner time. That's how muddy it was. Pretty muddy. I'm gonna have to clean these off before I put them in the car. I'm glad I wore these uh, waterproof bike pants because as you can see, uh, I did get lots of dirt on them, which kind of protected my jeans a bit. And uh, so that was a good thing. Although these made me very, very, very warm. So I'd like to get maybe some waterproof pants that somehow some have extra breathing in them for days like this. We'll go around the other side and grab our table. I do see some bugs flying around, so within the next week or less, I'm gonna have to make sure I get some bug repellent. So my wife bought me this table. We'll use that. Definitely drink some water. Got my portable stove, pot, clean water, uh, more water for drinking. We've got our buns, our hot dog wieners. We got our onions already all cut up. We got our fritos. Uh, we have the Tex-Mex. I got some trail mix to snack on while I'm cooking. And of course, that stag chili dynamite hot. Put that on there. Boiling. Be safe. Be safe. That shouldn't take too long. And they are done. And so we'll pop them out. Put them in there. I can do two. Check that out. Master. Master of the house. I'm going to put some of this water in there to keep them warm. I'm fogging up the lens and my glasses. My wife gave me a can opener just in case that broke. Good backup, honey. Good backup. In goes the chili. All right, now it's time to put this all together. Gotta get the placemat out. Napkin. These are like perfect. Hot dog one, hot dog two. I think this is gonna be so messy. I'm gonna try really hard to eat it with my hands, but uh, I think it's gonna be end up being a knife and fork, possibly even a spoon type meal. Weenies first, one, two, and one for good luck. So I think what I wanna do next is put some onions in there, just a few. Or maybe a lot. There we go. All right, that's our Tex-Mex. I'm gonna use the tongs just because I'm doing this with one hand. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna load her up, eh? There's more right there. That looks awesome. Next up is that beautiful chili. I think I'm going overboard just a little bit here. Oh yeah, I think I think I did it the right way, man. You gotta put that hot chili right on top of that cheese. You gotta make it look good. Oh yeah, I 
but you could put more cheese on top no problem we're definitely going to try and eat as much as we can don't want to waste anything and then last but not least the frito lays you put those on top if they will stay oh my goodness <laughs> look at that craziness oh i'm so glad we are doing this today people I'm gonna try my hardest to pick up. This is probably one of the most beautiful things I've ever created. Thanks, Bucky's, for uh, letting me try that first in Texas, of all places. Oh, it is messy. It is chaos. Yeah, this is this is nuts, man. How are you supposed to do this? Oh, that was strategically placed there. Mm -hmm. Please try this, because I already know it's gonna be freaking all my amazing. All right, here we go. Mm. I think I waited just the right amount of time for all that cheese to melt. There's gooey in there. You get little crunchy snacks as they fall off. Obviously, you can make your own chili if you wanted to, or you can go and get stag chili and make it quicker, like I did. Definitely, the onions are just adding to this like amazing, amazing, crunchy onion uh, power to it. Ah, oh, that's so good. All right, guys, if you can't probably already tell, this is definitely a go out and make it yourself plus. And uh, it's a huge recommendation from me to you. This buy also goes out to all my patrons uh, on my Patreon. Thank you very much for all your support there. And also my channel members and moderators on this channel. You guys are all fantastic. And of course, every single one of you subscribers, viewers, upvoters, downvoters, commenters, you're all making this happen. And I thank every single one of you. Cheers. <laughs> what a mess. Well guys, I'm gonna polish the rest of this off and then we'll get ready for bed. There's no hockey game on tonight, so I'll just be surfing the internet and checking out uh, any other social media things that are going on. Maybe do a little bit of editing on the laptop, get it all prepared before I even get home. That's why I have my laptop here. Super handy. I'm gonna finish this off. I'll see you in a minute. All cleaned up. So get all settled in all right let's get these shoes off and I'm also going to change into my clothing my nighttime clothing because uh, these clothes I have on are sweaty move over <laughs> Well, I'm all out of those sweaty clothes into my dry clothes. It's about 10 after eight. And as you can hear, it's raining and it's gradually getting more and more. Uh, one of my favorite things when I'm at the cottage is when it's uh, raining, it just makes you wanna get on your uh, Muskoka Bear Wear hoodie and get all comfy warm and um, watch a movie or whatever but the sound of rain just helps me sleep so much better. And this is gonna be our first rain sleep in the in the stealth van. So uh, I'm gonna have a great night's sleep. Uh, again, thanks for hanging out with me today and we'll see you in the morning. Ciao.
Good morning. It is 8.30 a.m. Outside temperature is 9 degrees. Inside temperature is 10 degrees. I tossed and turned all night. My arms kept falling asleep. I'm not sure what was going on, but uh, that kind of kept waking me up. It rained for a while last night, but then it stopped. Right now it's not raining anymore. Uh, I did get up early uh, this morning to see if the sun was gonna rise, but it was cloudy and so. And I didn't wear my hat until until probably like six or until the, the, the started getting brighter. And so I did the whole pull the, uh, the hat down over my eyes. That's why I wore the hat. It's not that it's really cold in here or anything. Uh, the other thing too is I parked on a bit of a downhill. I didn't notice when I first parked here, but this, the bed that's on this new sheet of plywood has slid down towards the seat, the front of the van. And of course my pillow, I forgot my main pillow, so I had to use my YouTube pillow, but it kept falling down, down the crack. So <laughs> that was a bit of a pain. Uh, so I'll make sure I park on level ground next time. But uh, yeah, let's get up and uh, get out of here. I forgot to mention last night, it was pitch black, like not hard, like, it's pretty much zero light and it's the first time i experienced that in the van again most of the time i'm like in a parking lot somewhere with some type of light standard let's pack up oh excuse me and head out that was a fun hike uh cook out and uh sleep and uh yeah let's get going I'm all dressed and as soon as I attempt to get out of the van, it starts raining. So I'm going to attempt to get from the back of the van into the front of the van. I haven't done that yet. It doesn't seem that hard, but I, I'm not the most agile person in the world. So uh, let's give it a shot. I stored all my stuff in the front seat, tripods, boots, camera, invisible stick, but I made it. I knew I could. It was a good test for uh, if it's like really downpour raining or uh, next winter, I don't want to go outside <laughs> if it's so cold. I'm going to try to move one boot at a time so I don't bang it. So I smashed off as much of the mud as I could. And again, if I don't bash them, then the more mud will not come off. Yeah, this one got some real caked on mud. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along with me on this adventure. Uh, I can't wait to do like a major thunderstorm type adventure. That would be awesome. This was kind of like a little test to see how easy or hard it was going to be. And it seemed pretty easy. Uh, I'm just glad that during the cooking and eating part, it stopped raining. That was the only time it stopped raining. And uh, I got to uh, cook beside the van instead of in the van. Uh, I think it'll be definitely most difficult trying to uh, cook up something like that in the van i'd have to definitely move some stuff around to make it all work anyway uh if i go left i believe i'll hit head down towards ooh, toronto something just fell over sure that was. once again thanks for everybody who uh, watches these crazy little adventures hope you tried that food for sure again thanks very much to all my patrons on my patreon for all your love and support there and of course all my members and moderators on this channel for all your uh, support here and of course all my subscribers and viewers who just love watching these videos thumbsing up leaving their comments and generally having a good time if you love this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you hit it with a thumbs up ding 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 but if you're still hungry for more check out that wicked playlist i put down over there and i'll see you over there bring your hunger